told you we should have gone east back there, but you wouldn't listen. I know where we're going. Will you just give me a chance? I'm hungry. Is there anything to eat around here? No, oh, this is stupid. All this way to check up on armadillos, and now we're lost right in the middle of a prairie. Now, don't argue. There's a deer. I'm too tired to fly as it is, and I don't want a headache to go with it. Sorry, I, I. But if we could just find out which way was which, no signs, no nothing. There isn't even anyone to ask. We could smell our way. Yeah, if there was anything to smell. I can smell something. What is it? It's, it's, yeah. I can't smell. Wait a second. What's that? That's horrible. Where's it coming from? Just over that rise, I think. Come on. <laughs> Anything that smells that bad, I just gotta see. It may smell bad, but it might taste good. I don't think so, slowly. What is it? It's a, it's an oil plant. I think it's one of the pumping stations where they clean the oil before it goes to the refinery. So what's that smell? I guess it must be the chemicals and the waste oil that's too dirty to pump through. So there's nothing to eat. I don't think so, slowly. But there might be someone who can tell us how to get out of here. Oh, I don't feel very well, you know. It's this horrible smell. I think I'll go and have a nap. Oh, dearie me. Poor I, I. I know how she feels. It makes me sick just looking at this place. It's ruined the land, and it looks so ugly. Yeah. Imagine having to live here. Excuse me, uh, but, but I do live here, and I figure you don't, so how about you telling me what y'all want my range? <laughs> he talks funny. What did he say? Don't your boy <laughs> understand plain talking? <laughs> I suppose he don't. Uh, doesn't. <clears throat> we were hoping someone could tell us how to get off this prairie. We're lost. Say, how do you get to the nearest town? We could really use a drink. So, y'all ain't with Ratko then? You bet we ain't, uh, aren't. Well, now, y'all should have said so earlier. Name's Roscoe. I'm a prairie dog. Now, hold on here. I'll get a drink of water for the little lady. Little? Oh! What did you, uh, mean about Ratko, huh? Why, they run that there pumping station, and I've had just about enough of it. The ground's all filling up with waste oil and tar and nasty chemical messes. Fact is, myself, my wife, and little Zoe, well, we're gonna cut and run pretty soon if it don't get no better. No point staying here with the grass dying and the ground full of I don't know what. That's terrible. I don't understand. Surely the waste is supposed to go into those tanks over there. I mean, they look like waste tanks. Son, they could look like balloons, but they wouldn't fly none. But the pipes from the pumping tank go right into them. Yep, right into them and right through them. Bamboo lead, the waste oil just goes straight through these tanks and into the holes in the ground. But you live in the ground, don't you? Sure do, Missy. That's why we're fixing to leave. The birds are starting to flood out. Before long, there ain't gonna be no place clean for us to live in these parts. And nothing to eat, neither. Nothing to eat? Th th that's awful. Is there anything to eat now? But why would they do that? How does filling your burrows with waste oil help them? Uh, I'll let the missus explain that. Linda, we got company. Roscoe talking to y'all. I was uh, gonna tell them why they're pumping oil into the ground, honey. Howdy. It's money. Simple as that. If Ratco collect the waste properly, they gotta take it and incinerate it safely. So it don't mess up the air. This way, they get to cut a few corners and save a few dollars. Are you bears? Sort of bear family, actually. Do you know where I could get anything to eat around here? I am starving. Sure I do. Come with me. I'll get you some real tasty roots. Roscoe, I'm kind of glad they're out of the way. Why that, son? Because I think it's time we did something about Ratco and all that waste oil. We have to get in there and talk to who's ever in charge. Don't like it. Gonna waste excuses for gods I've ever seen. Oh, have you been a god before, one? No, I... That's not the point. You two no hopers are the gods now. Attention! Face left, about turn, quick march, left, 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 left! 
No, no, no. How am I gonna get promoted working with morons like you two? If I'm the only source, I get fired! Hi there! Who are you, and what do you want? Can I get up, one? Shut up! All I said was... We were wondering if we could, uh, have a look around your plant. No. Why not? This is private property. What do you want to see inside for? We wanted to take a look at your waste oil tanks. We think they might be leaking. Well, they ain't! Ratco maintains all its plants in perfect working order. Thanks to the highly skilled management personal pers possible guys like me. Got it? Okay, okay. It's, it's just Oh, come off it! You know what's going on here. You and your goons are pumping oil straight into the ground. I'm flooding out the prairie dogs. Well, it stinks, just like this whole horrible plant. And I think that you should be... Okay, lady. I think we heard enough. Get him! Hey, down here, folks. Run for it. Are you okay, boss? No, I'm not okay. I am mad. I am furious. I am going crazy working with dummies like you two. It's just lucky I managed to chase them off like that. Otherwise, they'd still be here snooping around. And Mr. Rattleone wouldn't like that. Come on. We got to report to base. Yeah, who is this? Uh, this is Rat One, sir. A Texas pumping station. Uh, we've uh, had visitors. Visitors? I'm not interested in your pitiful social life, number one. What do you mean, visitors? Uh, we had a couple of uh, strangers snooping around. They wanted to take a look at the waste tanks. Said they thought they might be leaking. Uh, maybe we ought to stop pumping, boss. You know, in case they come back. Stop. Stop. With thousands of gallons to pump, you moron, you'll take your orders and do as you're told, or you'll go back to sweeping the car park at headquarters, and if those visitors come back, well then get rid of them, get it? Yes, Mr. Elioni, got it. Good then, get going. So, do we stop the pumps, Chief? Of course not, you moron! With thousands of gallons to pump, you just take your orders and do as you're told, or you go back to sweeping the car park at headquarters. You know, I think I heard that before. And that goes for you too, Mr. Stupid Alec! Yeah. Now come on, we got work to do. Oh. oh, I don't know why you woke me up. At least when I'm asleep, I can't smell this. Sorry, I, I. But we gotta get into the plant and find out what's going on. And we need to talk to Know How. Could you hand me the video phone, please? Oh, all right. I think he'll have finished his tea by now. Know How? We need some information on waste disposal. Waste? What on earth for? We're in Texas. There's some prairie dogs here having waste oil pumped into their burrows by Ratco. Those scoundrels. Well, no, uh, let me see. Yes, yeah. That would be under O for oil, would it? Or, or, or W for waste. Ah, under P for pollution. Yes, excellent. Or rather, oh dear, how terrible. That bad, huh? Well, my dear, once the ground reaches saturation point, it becomes very hard for the rain to wash out the oil. Has the grass died off yet? No, sir. That it ain't. But it's, uh, started. What the Sam Hill are we supposed to do? You must find a way to stop the pumping for good. Otherwise, I'm afraid you and your family, Mr... Mr. Roscoe. Mr. Roscoe, pleased to meet you, will have to leave the area for good. I'm afraid it's an increasingly common problem. But what can one do? One can go into that plant and one can start busting heads, mister. Yeah, nice idea, Roscoe. But we tried to get in once before and it didn't work. No, I think we need something sneakier this time. Starting with a way in. I'm sure there was. Oh, if only I could just remember. 
Yes, Roscoe, what about that old tunnel? Why, yes indeed. That'd bring us up plumb right where we wanna be. We don't use it no more, cause it only goes into the plant, and there's nothing there for us. But now we wanna get inside, we should be able to sneak right on up on them without them seeing us. <laughs> well then, you'd better get ready. And remember, it's no good just stopping them now. You have to try to make them stop for good. All right, Bumblebee? I understand. We'll do the best we can. Okay, you know what the boss wants. He wants those nosy parkers out of the way. Even you incompetents should be able to manage that. With a little help from your brilliant leader. Oh, great. When does he get here? When does who get here? This brilliant leader. Uh, what's his name? His name is Number One. Hey, Number One. That's a coincidence. What's a coincidence? Well, him having the same name as you. Funny, huh? Number One. Mm. Yeah, funny. No, it's not funny, you morons. I'm the brilliant leader. Me, number one. Sure, one. Anything you say, Chief. Now, listen up, you dummies. They're gonna try and sneak in here for sure. So, so we grab them they... outside the gates and beat them up. Yeah. Gonna grab a bamboo bear, gonna grab a bamboo bear, gonna grab a bear. No, we do not grab them outside the gates. Mm. We let them come in. They're gonna wanna check out the pumping tank, see? So we let them in there, and once they get in there, we shut them in, and we open the inlet valves. <laughs> Before they know it, they'll be swimming for their lives in waste oil. But not for long, we'll be rid of them, and we can go on pumping, and I'll be promoted, so I won't have to wipe with credits like you no more. Maybe I'll even be a district under sub assistant manager. <laughs> hey, okay. what about us, boss? What, what, what about us? Well, if you're lucky, you might get promoted to chief incompetent dogs! Is that what you are now, boss? Uh, shut up! But I don't want to stay here. Me neither, Mama. I told you, honey, you're just too darn little for this. Yeah, and you're too big for the tunnel, slowly. How can I be too big? I haven't eaten a thing for hours. I must be really skinny by now. Aye, aye, will you keep an eye on these two? Make sure they stay out of trouble? Oh, yes. Don't you worry about it now. I'll be right here. I am much obliged, ma'am. Okay, let's go. Real quiet here. We're right under the guards in the gate. It's not much further now. Where does it come out? Where it used to come out, there's a big building with pipes and all going in and out. Uh, I don't know what it is, though. A pumping tank. <gasps> Hang on a minute. Yep, yep. This is the way out. See if you can find a pipeline that goes into the soil. It's not going to be easy. This place is made out of pipelines. Bamboo Lee, over here. This one runs straight into the ground. Looks like it goes down an old burrow. Great. First thing I have to do is get a couple of pictures. Bamboo Lee, what are you doing? We don't have time for pictures. We have to get evidence, Dalin. If we just turn it off, then Radko can turn it back on again just as easily. But if we can get pictures of the operation to the press, we can force them to shut down for good. Okay, okay, I get it. I get the feeling we're not alone. One more should do it. Got this! <laughs> ah, we're trapped. See if you can open the door. <laughs> Too late. You and your little friends have snooped around here for the last time. <laughs> This door is watertight, or should I say, oil tight. <laughs> and in a few minutes, the whole place is gonna be under 10 feet of oil. So long, losers. <laughs> you, you, you rat. Look who's talking. Tighten it on, boys. <laughs> <sighs> There's no way out. Can we force the door? No, and with all the oil coming in, we can't even get to it. If only we could get word to the others. We'll have to climb for it. We've got to keep above the oil. 
Uh, come on, Aya. They've been in there for ages now. Why can't we go and look for them? No. Bamboo Lee told me to make sure you stayed out of trouble. So you'll wait here like you were told to. But they've been in there a long time. Maybe they're in trouble. They have been longer than they said. But if I go and look, what will I do with you two? Take us with you, please, ma'am. We'll be good. Ah, oh, well, all right. We'll just have a quick look, mind you, and then come back. Well, that's that. They'll never get out of there. In half an hour, no one will ever know where those pesky spies went. Yeah, hey. wine. They're gonna be all sticky and yucky. <laughs> you know, Three, I kind of feel sorry for them. So now we can get on with working for my, I mean, our promotions. Give me that phone. <laughs> yeah, give me Mr. Rattleone's office. Hello, boss. It's me. <laughs> no, number one at the Texas pumping station. No, it's all under control. In a few minutes, they'll be gone for good. I, uh, I was wondering if, uh, if this comes off, any chance of a promotion? Ooh, district under sub-assistant manager. Uh, thanks, boss. Uh, yeah, sh shutting up, sir. Uh, yes, goodbye. <laughs> it's in the bag, boys. <laughs> Rat one, the job is done. We got them in the soup. Those bamboo bears can say their prayers, but all we'll hear is goop. <laughs> Rat one, the job is done. We got, got them in the soup. <laughs> I knew they were in trouble. They said pumping tank. Maybe that building over there. Prairie dog. I'm built for digging, not climbing. Don't matter what we are, unless we're out of here real soon, we ain't gonna be anything. Can you think of any way out, Bamboo I'm thinking. Wait, how come we can still see each other? Because of the light, of course. We don't have time for this. But the lights went under the oil a long time ago. It should be dark. So where's the light coming from? Look up there. There's an air hole in the top hatch. But there's no way to climb out of that little hole. And we can't get the catch open from the inside. What good is that gonna do? We don't have to get out of it. We can use the magic cane. But if you summon Ai Ai, she'll wind up here with the rest of us trapped. She doesn't have to hear the call. All we need is for someone to see the cane to find us. Quick! Help me out of here, Darlene. <laughs> What's that? It looks like... like it is! It's Bamboo Lee's hat! I'd know it anywhere! They must be in trouble! filling up with oil. Get us out of here. That's nasty, but you can't get out through a little gap like that. We need to get this hatch open. Ah. <laughs> it's no good. It's jammed. Where can we get a crowbar? Why do we need a crowbar? <laughs> <laughs> Bamboo Lee, Darlin, are you in there? <laughs> Thought you'd never get here. Thanks, Loli, Zoe, and thank you too, I, I. Well, if I didn't keep an eye on you, who would? Did you get what you wanted? Right here. <laughs> what does this wheel do? No, no, cease, halt, and desist. That's a restricted area. You can't do that. Why not? Because I said so! Yeah, because we say so! Shut up! Yeah, anyway, we got some snoopers in the Shut planet. Shut up! Well, I'm gonna turn it anyhow. No, no, don't do it! No, no, it's full of... Uh, no, <laughs> don't! Yeah, yeah, well, boy. 
boss, there was this uh, panda, and he pulled a hatch. Uh, a panda? Yeah, yeah, and a uh, big dragon. Yeah, you see, there was this uh, pink dragon, and, and he was dragon. flying through the air. And... Uh, okay, so let me get this straight. All you had to do was keep them in the tank until there wasn't a problem no more. And you were foiled by a panda and a pink dragon? <laughs> well, boss, try not to think of it as being foiled, but as being a, a slightly a little bit unsuccessful. But we tried uh, real hard. So, um, any chance of that prom promotion, boss? Uh, well, in that case, one, try to think of it as not so much promoted as fired. Tell that to your panda and your pink dragon. Rawr.